What are these chunky, aggressive looking drill bits and what exactly are they used for? I've been asked about these bits many times over the years and I've recommended them to a lot of people. They're called speed bores, a trademarked Irwin product and they're some of the fastest hole boring bits on the market, but they're not for every application. Today, I'm gonna to explain how speed bores work and when and where to use them. And that's coming up next on The Honest Carpenter Show. So speed bores and other similar products out there were basically invented to speed up the drilling of large diameter holes. And by large diameter, I mean holes wider than say a half inch, which is where most twist bits top out. In the past, tradespeople have turned to a variety of other bits for this function. Those include spade or paddle bits, circular hole saw bits, and even expensive Forstner bits. Many of these, especially Forstners, make really clean holes. But the problem is they can't do it quickly. Paddle bits kind of chop their way through wood. Hole saws are prone to clogging, and Forstners, though efficient, are really more like a woodworking bit, too fine to be used for most rough construction. Carpenters and other tradespeople needed a way to bore wide, rough holes much faster. And so Irwin gave us the speed bore. It's really just an evolution of the standard auger, which has been around for centuries. But the speed bore was engineered to push the auger drilling function into high gear. Speed bores are tri-fluted, meaning that they have three large spiral grooves for clearing out the massive amount of waste wood they remove. They also have a self-feed screw tip and cutting spurs on the tips of the webs. Also, they're coated for low friction. The end result is a boring speed and power that's really hard to match. Keep in mind, speed bores and other similar products out there require no pre-drilling. They'll clear a large diameter hole by themselves in seconds. And they're pretty easy to use. They come with hex shanks that chuck into most any standard drill or driver. When you know your hole location, you just press the screw tip to your center point, fire up the drill, and provide a little force. Very quickly, the screw tip engages. It begins drawing the rest of the auger forward with the cutting spurs and lips shredding material in the cut path. The flutes are very wide and shallow, unlike traditional augers, so they eject wood chips in this cookie monster type feeding frenzy. You'll go through a standard 2 by in a couple of seconds. With a long enough speed bore, you'll clear a 4 by in under 5 seconds. Chances are, if you're a new DIYer, you've never bored anything at this pace before. And the truth is, it can catch you off guard in a number of ways. For instance, the screw point is so aggressive that it can easily wander off path if you're not well aligned. So it can be really tricky to hit a dead-on exit mark. And also, this bit will physically drag you if you're not ready for it. The screw point is like a tractor, pulling the bit and the drill with it. You hauling back on the handle won't do much, it just keeps going. This is especially problematic with corded drills because they don't have clutches or brakes. If you're up on a ladder, you need to leave enough slack in your position to let the drill travel. Otherwise, it can like pull you right off your feet. And when you punch through material, you absolutely need to keep your free hand out of the way because these things are merciless coming out the other side. I was boring holes through studs in winter once and left my hand a little too close to the exit point. The spur points broke through, grabbed my glove, and sucked my thumb back into the hole. I was 100% convinced that I had cut my thumb off, but it turned out that the glove had like torn and binded up the flutes. I had bloody chatter marks on the edge of my thumb, but no ligaments torn, no bones broken. It was kind of a miracle. But the lesson is that the spurs won't distinguish between flesh or wood. They'll just keep cutting. So keep your hands clear. Used effectively though, speed bores are the ultimate design for quickly boring through dimensional SPF lumber. That includes pass-through holes for wiring and some piping, and also pre-drill holes for bolts and lags in decks and other types of framing. Just remember that because they're so aggressive, they suffer from blowout at the back. They'll often just burst through in a shower of shredded wood pulp. And really, their entry hole isn't that clean either, so they're only for rough or concealed applications. Again, more construction than woodworking. There are also a lot of competitors on the market now. Different design, basically the same concept, like the Diablo Speed Demon or the Bosch Daredevil Auger. I haven't tested either, but I'm not brand loyal, so I'll gladly mention these others here. And I might try them out on the channel in the future. I'll go ahead and link a bunch of these bits down below. So feel free to shop those links if you need something. And remember that when you do, we receive a small commission at no extra charge to you. But speed bore bits, extremely aggressive and extremely helpful for fast hole boring on job sites, especially through softer framing lumber. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments. I'll try to hop down there and answer questions if any come up. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back soon for more videos coming up and please consider subscribing and hitting that bell button to turn on notifications. 
That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with The Honest Carpenter. I'll see you next time.